Hello everyone. Thank you for coming to Aquascaping for Beginners. My journey on learning how to aquascape. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. Um, the more support you give me, the more I can help increase this channel. So this week's update will be on the 40 gallon. Uh, in the past week I've added in uh, the majority of the fish I'm adding to the tank. So this is a rundown what I've added to the tank. So now I have in here is four yo-yo loaches, four zebra loaches, five albino tiger barbs, and eight regular tiger barbs. And in quarantine, in the bottom tank here, I have an additional zebra loach, three more tiger barbs, and five more albino tiger barbs. So once I add them all to the tank, in total I have 10 albino tiger barbs, 11 tiger barbs, five yo-yo loaches, sorry, five zebra loaches, and four yo-yo loaches. And probably in a few weeks, about three to four weeks from now, I'll be adding in the last tank mate, which will be a rainbow shark. Um, they are very aggressive. They can be very aggressive, and they can also be territorial, but after doing some research, I found that if he's the last fish you add to the tank, it really decreases down some of that aggression and territorialness because he doesn't have the chance to establish himself and uh, well, everybody else has already, already established their kind of side of the tank. So that's the plan. Um, I'm not really planning on adding anything else beyond that to this tank. Uh, so as you can see, the tank is doing well. I, I did do my weekly water change last week, well, yesterday, and that went well. And now let's get a close up of the tank. Let's see how everything is doing. So here is the tank, looking good so far. Um, just loving this power head because it just like mystifies all the CO2. So this is the tank, just looks like it has a constant mist of CO2 in here. I mean, my bubble rate isn't that high. So, you know, I'm probably about three, maybe four bubbles. I've been running this, that bubble count for a couple of weeks now. Have not noticed any of the fish having any kind of issues with it. A lot of the fish do like swimming against the strong current of the power head, so kind of like that. So let's check out some of the growth going on this week. So we got a lot of new growth going on. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on some of it. So the dwarf sag has done really well and spread out all along the front of the tank like I wanted it to, so I'm happy about that. Um, you can see here that the lily pad or the dwarf lily has shed its initial leaves and now has started growing new leaves. So all these leaves you're seeing here are all new growth. So I'm really excited about that. I did add some more plants to the tank. So let's see if I can get a zoom in on this here. So you see those little red plants. I did add those in this past week. I uh, haven't seen that much growth on them. So we'll see what happens. With time, uh, you can see one of the zebra loaches back there in the back. The zebra loaches are the the uh, the most skittish fish when they first get introduced to a tank. Um, and since they've been in here, they only come out during feeding time. And occasionally, I'll be you know walking by the tank and I'll see them out. And as soon as they realize they, see, they I, that I see them, they will immediately go back in and hide. So I just want to show you a top-down view of what it looks like. From here, I don't know how well you can see it with the glare and everything, but you can see that the dwarf sag is kind of filled in really nicely down there. So yeah, the, the here is what the, the quarantine tank looks like with the, the fish. Uh, today is day two of their quarantine. Tomorrow will be their last day of quarantine, and then they'll get added into the top tank on Tuesday. So one more day and then all those guys get moved up to this tank. And then it'll be a couple weeks before I, a couple weeks to a month before I add that rainbow shark into the tank. And then this tank will be done. And then it's start planning the, this bottom tank and what I'm gonna do with that tank. So that's how the tank is doing. It's coming along quite nicely. Like seeing a lot of new growth in the tank. I'm really excited about this tank. I'm thinking about getting the same power head I have on this tank for the 55 because it just does such a well job of dispersing all the CO2 into the tank. So I'm maybe getting the same power head for that tank and have it kind of set up like I have in this one too over to the one of the sides. 
so that it, it just can blow more CO2 into the tank. I think that'll look really cool and help disperse the CO2 better into, in that other tank. But once again, as always, I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor, webplants.com. Uh, please go and check them out. They have a wide variety of plants. Everything always ships in a timely manner. I've never received anything from them that was wilting or dying. Everything always comes in nice and green. So definitely check them out. Uh, also, I did start up an Instagram account a couple weeks ago. My, my handle for that is aquascaping4. Once again, aquascaping4. And that's the word for, not the number four. And I post, you know, a couple times a week, I'll post some new updates on there about any time anything new happens. So if I, if I got some new fish, I'll, you know, take some pictures and post it on there. Or I'm really excited about some new growth, I'll put it on there. So definitely go and check out that once again on Instagram. That's aquascaping4. And just give me a follow, you know, hit me up on there. It's just another way for me to help promote this channel. Uh, I just really want to say thank you for, you know, make it to the end of the video. I really appreciate everybody's support. Please make sure you get, you know, give me a like, hit the subscribe button, make sure you turn on notifications because all that stuff really matters to YouTube and it matters to me that, um, you know, that you guys want to watch my videos. But once again, thank you so much. Everybody have a great day and please stay safe.